a lot of questions, uh, and, I, and I want to ask you about this, because one question surfaced in the Austin Chronicle. Uh, and that question was in the form of an ad that is said to be from a Ron Paul supporter. And the question is, have you ever had sex with Governor Rick Perry? And it goes on to say, are you a stripper, an escort, or just a young hottie impressed by an arrogant, entitled governor of Texas? Uh, what, what's your response, what's your campaign's response to this coming from one of your supporters? Well, I don't know how something like that qualifies as a question on national TV as if it's something serious. So I would say that it speaks for itself. And uh, for me to address, I don't know anything about it. This is news to me. For, for me to address that would give it too much credibility. And I think bringing it up gives it way more credibility than it deserves. It's rather silly. Uh, how, can, how can this be a significant issue in a presidential race so I, I don't play so you haven't you, you didn't that this um, ad never came up in your discussions with your campaign did you ever ask anybody you know well who is this guy and he's saying no. he's my supporter it never has been discussed among your campaign no insignificant uh, silly things uh, we don't waste a whole lot of time on things like that what do you make of the sort of back and forth between the the Perry folks and the Bush folks in your home state of Texas well I, I think that is interesting because their their political views are pretty close so uh, I didn't know a whole lot about that. I don't get into the uh, intrigue of personality. So uh, I, I think it has political significance, but uh, I don't know much about that. Uh, I, I didn't know that actually yeah. was going on. Well, so so in, this, in terms of this ad, and I know you think it's no big deal, but before I let you go, would you encourage this person to stop saying that he's one of your supporters as he run, you know, in the framework of running this ad? Well, that would invite me to look at hundreds of thousands of people who say and do things and express themselves that I have to monitor them and, and check out everything that's on the Internet and decide. Uh, now, my, my uh, first impression would be, why pay attention to it? Why give it credibility? So, uh, no, I'm not going to uh, engage myself in that because I would be worrying about those kind of things because there's a, a lot of things going on like that in a lot of campaigns. So uh, I can Understood. make comments. I could study that ad yeah. and, 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 you know, and, 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 you know, make a comment on it. But, but this, this whole thing doesn't invite me or in, in, incite me or encourage me to start analyzing everything everybody ever says on the mm -hmm. Internet or what they put gotcha. in a newspaper. That would, that would t distract from the message I'm trying to deliver. All right. I got it. Uh, Congressman Ron Paul, thank you very much. Uh, good to see you from New Hampshire this morning. Uh, we'll hear a lot more for you as the campaign moves forward. Thank you, sir.